Welcome to Elementor. This is Cassie. In this video, I'll walk you through the first steps in page building with Elementor. You'll become familiar with the editor and learn how to create, publish, and share your first page, use editing tools to design your content, use pre-designed templates, and create your first stunning section all from scratch. So let's dive in. So we'll begin by adding a new page. In your WordPress dashboard, under Pages, Add New, click Edit with Elementor. If you're using the new WordPress editor, you'll see the same button here. When first opening Elementor, your layout may appear inside your theme's content area. I'm going to demonstrate editing on a full width page. So go to the bottom panel, click the Settings icon, and under Page Layout, choose Full Width. Now you can work on a full width page. OK, so what are we looking at here? On the right side is the editing screen of your site. This is your design playground, where you can add and edit elements that form the layout of your page. And over here on the left side is the Elementor panel. Here are creative tools called widgets. You use widgets to add elements to your page, like headings, paragraphs, images, and videos. You can search for specific widgets here, too. So when you start building your page, keep in mind you can either design the page from scratch by clicking on the plus button to add a section, or many people opt for pre-designed templates. Click on the library icon to add a template. So let's check them out. Here you see three tabs, Blocks, Pages, and My Templates. Scroll down to see over 100 stylishly designed pages and blocks that we offer. Page templates are pre-designed pages, and blocks are pre-designed sections. Use a block for any needed pre-designed section, like call to actions, heroes, contact forms, and testimonials. Alrighty, let's try adding a template together. Click on the magnifying glass icon here to preview a template before adding it. Once you find the one you want, just insert it, up here on the top right. To get an idea of the structure of a completed page, let's take a closer look at the anatomy of a page. Each page in Elementor is made up of sections. This entire area is a section. This is also a section. You can see another section here, and another section. Notice that there's a blue border around each section on Hover. And then inside the sections, you have columns, which you can identify by these black dotted lines and the column icon handle. Here's another column. And inside the columns are widgets. Here's a text widget, inside a column, inside a section. What's really convenient is that you can edit all elements and move them around. Just use their handles. Click the section handle on the left. The plus lets you add a new blank section. To edit your section, click the dots in the middle. This opens the panel with the layout, style, and advanced section settings. More on that later. To move the section up or down, use the middle dots to drag and drop. Here you can also right-click to duplicate or delete your section or copy and paste, and more. You can do the same for a column. Just right-click to duplicate, delete, etc. Need another column? To add a new column, right-click its handle and add one. And you can do the same for widgets. Duplicate, delete, and copy. Easy peasy. The whole layout is very flexible. You can easily drag any element around. Change the column width by grabbing the edges and moving left or right, like this. Since a page is made up of sections, if you learn how to design just one section, you can design anything. So let's create your own first section. Click the plus sign to add a new section. Now here if you hover over the columns, you can choose four, three, let's start with two. Let's start by dragging a heading widget into the left column. Go back to the panel and drag in a text editor widget into the column. By the way, anytime you want to see the panel of widgets, just click the widgets icon to open the panel. And let's drag in a button. You can see that you drag in the widgets according to the blue line indicator. Not where you meant it to be? Drag it up. OK, on the right side, let's add an image. Drag in an image widget from the panel into the right column. Choose your image from the media library and insert. Before we design the widgets, let's adjust the height of the overall section to create some more space. So click the handle here of the section, which opens Layout, Style, and Advanced, three tabs you'll be working with to customize your section. In Layout, you have a few options to adjust the width of your section. Under Content Width, 
choose between boxed or full width. With boxed, use the slider to adjust the width of your content. Under height, let's choose minimum height. Toggle the height of your section or choose a specific number. Let's try 500 and set the content position to the middle. Now let's give our section a background color. Go to Style, click on the paintbrush, and choose a color. Click on the handle which opens Layout Style in Advanced again. Go to Style, click on the paintbrush, choose a color. So here we're giving color to the column. And let's remove it by pressing Clear. All right, so now we can go back and tweak our widgets. So click the Headline Widget Pencil handle, which opens three tabs, Content, Style, and Advanced. In Content, set the alignment to the center, right, or left. In general, look under Content for Content and Layout Editing, under Style for Colors, Fonts, and more design options, and then Advanced Options for Spacing and other Advanced Options. You can also just type your headline text directly on the screen, like that. And then under Style, give the text some color. And in Typography, choose a font style and set the size. There are some other parameters here that you can play around with. Just check it out on your own or reset back to the default settings. Now let's design another widget, this time the button. Click the pencil handle to open its panel. Fill in your button text. Align the button to the center, left or right. And here below it, set the size. Or set your own custom size under Style and Typography. Woohoo! You built your first section. Congrats! To check in on your design and see how it looks full screen, press the middle arrow here. Oh, and don't worry, your work is saved automatically. If you want to publish it and see your live page, click the green Publish button down here and click Have a Look to see the published page. If you want to preview your draft before you publish it, click the eye icon below. In the bottom panel, there's also a circular arrow icon that takes you to your history, which is divided into actions and revisions. In actions, you can retrace your steps. Click to return to an earlier edit as an alternative to using Control or Command Z to undo. And in revisions, you'll find all your saved versions. It auto-saves after every change. Click on a revision to go back to an earlier version. The device icon lets you view your content as it appears on mobile, tablet, and desktop devices. For more info, see the video linked in the description. So we see that every page is made up of sections and columns, and that's the basis of page building with Elementor. Try out widgets from the panel to create your own custom design. Generally, we've covered most of the interface. One last item in the panel is the hamburger icon, which handles global settings for your entire website, not individual pages. Here you set global defaults for fonts, colors, etc. Or exit to the dashboard. Thanks for joining me for the first steps to page building with Elementor. Amigos, this is just the tip of the iceberg. On our YouTube channel, we created a getting started playlist to help you quickly build your own website. Check out the docs on our site. And join our growing community on Facebook. Sayonara. See you in the next video.